Double layer drywall is another beast. We're getting into that right now. We got a lot of rock to move today, you can see. We got our eights. Uh, of course, our stacked on top of our twelves. We need our twelves first, so that sucks. Uh, more eights, and we got uh, a stack of tens here, and another stack of tens over here. So there's quite a bit of quite a bit of rock to to push up. So um, <clears throat> we uh, originally single layered these walls and um, fire taped them. Okay, uh, we came back and fire rated the columns. And uh, now we're gonna come in and, and add a second layer and then we're gonna have to fire tape it again. So electricians had come and removed the conduit. It's uh, not in a very good space. I mean, I'm gonna have to move that. Um, so yeah, we're gonna, um, I'm gonna, first thing I'm gonna do is just get set up. I'm gonna get the laser set up, uh, cause the same thing. You have to, one, stagger your joints, and two, you have to also have it level, right? So that's an important why when we do our first, why when we do our first layer, we're making sure that it's lasered leveled in, and the studs are on the centers at the top of the sheep, so. We, you know, when we, we go to the top and screw down, right? So that's why we do that. In case a double layer has to be added, we don't have an issue of, um, you know, our bevels not lining up on a stud. Okay. Okay, so the first thing you want to do when drywalling anything is make sure you have a clean path. Remember that old saying, watch where you're walking? Well, that can't be more true in construction. As you see, there's a rebar sticking out of the ground there, and we have the rebar sticking out of the ground here as well. So yeah, you uh, you don't you watch where you're going. You hit that, you're on timeout. So don't uh, don't take that lightly. All right. So yeah, first things first, you make sure everything's out of your way. Second thing you're gonna do, check your layout. Third thing, stand up your sheets. Okay. So we. Set up the laser. He's got the laser set up. All right, the the PM two LG. Right, that's the Hilti. We check uh, the uh, ends for the low low spot. The buddy, it's just it's just shaking right now because it's not on a stable ground, but the, it's normally stable. And uh, you just measure up and write the number down. You take the you go to the low side. And you and you, you you come up on the low side, okay? Because uh, it's uh, yeah, it just that's you know obviously if you go on the high side and you come down here, it's going to be way up, right? So you got to cut down and in to the into the grade beam. <clears throat> so I'm going to go now measure each side. So oh yeah, and then we of course we marked it and chalk it, chalk line, uh, chalk it, right? So we put our first uh, first layer at two feet right there on that chalk line. And then our four foot will go on top. We decided to go lay down on this wall uh, because of the grade beams are going to give us a lot of issues for this double layer. Uh, you can see why, right? Because there's not no, no grade beam to put the board on to get that uh, half inch spacing. So we're going to start with uh, two foot strips first. So that's that's why we're doing the, the lay down. So it'll, it makes sense. Um, oh, looks like we're going to get our board moved. Wow. That's awesome. I'm gonna measure both sides of the board so I can angle cut it so it's nice and straight. That's, I'm using 12 foot sheets. So I'll find out where the nearest 12 foot ends and go from there. So check out this is lamb setup. The handy nice Dewalt setup. So you got the cordless um, router and you got the cordless drywall gun. That's a mean setup for drywall. Um, the, uh, the 20 volt, uh, the lithium ion setup, like these new, Dewalts are awesome. They're uh, just as good as uh, the Hilti. I don't know about the warranty, um, but or like the like real over long term abuse because I I know my Hilti it never dies ever ever dies. So uh, we'll see. But this stuff for performance and, and strength is uh, equally uh, equal equal competitor. So just wanted to share you, share with you guys that little setup. I'm gonna go cut the two foot strips for the board. Um, oh, he's got his. Okay, good. And um, we're gonna set the, set them there. You can see the line's stable now because the guys aren't shaking the walls anymore. But I'm gonna turn it off. We don't need it anymore. 
Inch and seven eight. Oh, sorry, inch and seven eight self drilling. Okay, so the six by inch and seven eight. Uh, got the number two Phillips head. This is the best screw for double layer five eighths drywall. Okay, so five eighths five eighths is an inch and a quarter. So you got you know uh, so seven five eighths in to the steel, right? So you're you're good. It's perfect. Trusty old Olfa, right? That's what we're here. Remember, put the blade uh, up or down from the uh, break point. And so yeah, simple as uh, putting an uh, uh, orange paint on something like that, um, it's you know like could save somebody's uh, life. You never know. So don't uh, don't leave don't leave stuff like that in the ground just sticking out. Make sure you make your work area safe. The bottom two foot done, right? Two foot worked everywhere. So uh, we you know we just split the sheets and. That's uh, why you do your layout, right? You make sure it fits nice. And now we're gonna stand up the second layer of 12 footers and uh, yeah. All right, so you see that as we put the sheets on, same thing. I'm gonna measure both over to the bottom and the top, angle cut it if I have to. I don't screw in the bevels until the sheet's in. It's double air, there's no need to uh, screw in the, the, the bevels until the other sheet's in there, okay? It's not like uh, the, the studs are already secure in place so they're not going anywhere. So we'll uh, save this till the other sheet's in. And the same thing, it's just 16, 32 and then in the bevel same same thing um, every six to eight inches in the bevel when you do screw it off and rinse and repeat all the way up we uh, have the first two rows on the first two rows is the hard, hardest part uh, that's your layout so now the first two rows are on so the layout's done the sheets are screwed off we need to go now and do the uh, the third row but update we're gonna i'm gonna show you the rest in, in, the, in the next video uh this is just gonna be uh all i'm gonna show you for today but <clears throat> you can see we have the joints are st uh, staggered um the horizontal and uh, and the vertical one um uh, see how we have the stand-ups on the other side um i have it so that the verticals won't land on the like the, the that first 12 foot 
or that second and you know the 12 and the 10 footer up there it's actually going to land on different uh like different elevations so um it's uh, important to do your layout so that the joints are staggered um the yeah the double layer is pretty strong when it's screwed in so uh you just need the uh two in the field and one on each bevel um but yeah the biggest thing is you have to stagger your joints um both the uh, horizontal and the vertical so um, now you can see for the third row I'm just gonna copy what we did on the first row and then on the fourth row I'm gonna copy what we did on the second row and so on all the way up so that's how that works um, but yeah I think actually that fire rating looks good at the end okay the column but yeah Okay, so that's the video. So if you're new to Chris Conkle Vlogs, make sure you subscribe right down below. Hit that bell notification icon so you don't miss a thing. If YouTube thinks you might like this video right here. I'm putting a playlist for you to watch right below that. This is Chris, everyone. Bye for now.